Welcome to our channel. In this video, Larry will be demonstrating southern style collard greens with bacon. So, let's get right into the video. We're using the Instant Pot slow cooker. It's a new item, relatively new item in the Instant Pot lineup, and it works real well. It slow cooks, it steams, sears and sautés, does all kinds of things. So we're going to start with bacon. We've got about five strips of bacon. We're going to saute or fry until it's brown and renders out a good bit of fat. And then we'll be back. The bacon's just about finished. It's browned and rendered a lot of fat and looking good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pour in three cups of chicken stock and use that to deglaze the pan so we get all the delicious little crumbles of the bacon up from the bottom. In addition to that, we're going to pour in another cup of water plus a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's all the liquid we're going to put in. We're going to leave it on sear saute for right now. So we heat the water and everything else we put in there to give the slow cook a head start. Let's deglaze that pan. The next thing we're going to put in is a tablespoon of brown sugar. Two teaspoonfuls of seasoned salt. We'll kind of mix this each item as we add them to make sure they're getting mixed up. Fresh ground pepper. and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Also, I forgot to say when I put in the brown sugar, I also had a pinch of uh, nutmeg, a pinch of nutmeg. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And with it, because nutmeg, I'm told, makes things like collards and turnips that tend to sometimes have a little bitterness to them, less bitter. So, we'll do it. I've used it before and it, it did do a good job of keeping the bitterness out. If you can just remember the name of it. I don't know why nutmeg's so hard to remember. And the last thing I'm gonna put in, of course, is the collard greens. These are collards I bought that were already washed, cleaned, and cut up and bags, they're very inexpensive. Let's put them in there and get them all mixed around. There's one bad one. Okay. We've got that all mixed up. Let's put the lid on it. And now we'll go to the front of the pot and set it up for cooking. I'm back. Let's set it up for cooking. We're going to turn off the sear saute. We're going to go to slow cook and we're going to cook for five hours. Let's cook five and a half just to be on the safe side. We can always stop it early. We're going to press start. It's cooking and we'll check back in on it in a couple hours. 
Now we're down to just about two hours left on the collard greens and they look great. They're cooking down, they've cooked way down, they look good and I think they'll probably be ready within the next hour. So when they're done we'll check back and have a taste test of them and wrap it up on the collard cook. The collards are done, they smell good, they look good. We're gonna dish them up and see how they look when we put them in a little dish. We're going to take them out of the instant pot. They look really good and they're nice and tender. I can tell picking them up with the little tongs. Boy, don't those look good. Good southern colored greens. Let me let them cool for just a minute and then we'll take a taste. Let's give these colors a taste. They've been cooling for a minute or two. Let's see what they taste like. How tender they are. Hmm. Couldn't be any better. They're delicious. And the spices and things we put in them definitely kept them from being bitter. They're not bitter at all. All right, that does it for the collard greens. The collards were a win, a big time win. It's always fun to fix a great big, as they say in the South, a big old mess of collard greens. And we sure did do that today. They're delicious and there's plenty of them in there. We refrigerate them, can eat on them probably for a couple days. They're good for you, they taste delicious, they're inexpensive, and they're easy to fix. Just put them in the crock pot or the slow cooker and let them go. If you've enjoyed this video, please join by subscribing in the information below. Also, there's a full recipe of this dish below that you can highlight and then print and keep for your records, as well as Amazon purchase links for items that we use in the videos. It's always a pleasure to have you. Look forward to doing the next one, and you all take care now. Thank you for joining us for our Collard Green video. If you are a returning subscriber, you know we love you. If not, please consider subscribing and liking this video below. It helps the channel become more visible to new viewers. This is Andrew, and we really appreciate your visiting our channel. We're looking forward to seeing you again soon on our next show. Take care.